All right, guys, so here's another K to K that I've been painting this summer. This is a K to K industrial scaling fan model B56X5. This one was bought in the year 2004, we bought, so it's a year older than the other one. Well, it's been on flux for a year longer, so yeah. Um, this one has more, performs more like the, like the early 2000s, like the one that I will be uploading before this video. Um, there's a video of the K to K that um, has it make some noise on speed 5. Um, you guys will see that soon, right after this, well, before this video. So you guys have seen it. The early 2000s still performed pretty well, like the um, 90s, and then, like, throughout the mid-2000s, they started to, they still performed well, but it, it was more noticeable than they aren't the same. Um, this one performs more like a, it has more of a performance of a 90s one, from what I can tell. Oh, well, it's basically the same as the other one. They both performed pretty well for 2000s, 2000s KDK. But, um, yeah, I painted this one. Um, and just like the other one because one I didn't want to have two of them both of them seen a different finish um and also the canopies on this were very faded Kiki okay, stick on this one's actually in better shape although this one's older but um yeah there is a piece of tape actually holding it I don't know if you can see this one it's like what's called tape I wrapped it around and I painted over that so it doesn't really, it's not even noticeable at all because the screw that holds, that would help hold it in place was not holding the canopy so it kept falling down so we just resorted to um, using it with a piece of tape. And here is the KDK well with some of the 2000s KDK fans have that the um, 90s ones don't. It is getting a bit dirty because my grandmother uses this a lot. Um, I did clean mine before I recorded it but um, yeah this one is getting a bit dusty but I'm just going to leave it there. I'm not going to clean it before the video. So, um, yeah, and here's the um, schoolhouse school that's been on this fan since it was in the dining room. This is like the latest school we bought for it. We had a couple of them, but they broke. What happened was the original light kit on this fan, it actually hung down a bit lower. That's something I like about the older kit of cases, the, or the white kids they would have, is they they were much closer to the, to the um, motor, so they weren't like that far away, like the ground kit of K. Like, they're not, they don't hang down that low. They're more close to the motor, which I like. Um, so, with... The um, older light kit, there was a part, one of the areas where the screws go was in that it wasn't going straight in, it would go like sideways, so each globe would like get loose. So when we moved it in here, we f I threw that away because that was just, it was just too dangerous to have a light on it. And I just put this one on it, which was actually from the, my aunt's KDK that has a cable holding the light now. She just is just too, she doesn't even want to put a light kit on it, she just so has to have it like that, so that's fine, I'm fine with that. But I'm here, here's the light. This globe has been on this fan since the year 2007, so it's been on it for quite a while. They used to sell these, Katie, they used to sell globes like this quite often down here still. The, the um, Thoro globes, they stopped selling them around like 2011. They stopped making them round, they actually started doing it with just round globes only. I'm pretty sure there's still some of Thoro globes, you just have to find them. But they, they do have them brand new down here. They did have them brand new when I got this one. Really shut it off and move the speed one. This control is actually not from this fan. This is actually from the one that's in the um, dining room. The original switch from this one is actually in the dining room still. Since that's the way this was before, it actually used to be in the dining room. But um, it was getting a bit decut. It was getting a bit yellow, and, and um, since it was right next to the kitchen, I was getting a bit a lot of grease on it. It was showing up pretty a lot. So um, we just decided to move it in here. The um, rainbow hugger that was my bedroom was moved in here, and then we put this one in here, so that's when we get, got rid of the rainbow hugger. Gave it to the guy that um, took it down. The um, motor shaft on the, is a bit loose, so um, the white kit, let's just show you guys, is a bit loose. But the white, the globe isn't loose, it's the whole entire white kit that shakes, so just so you guys are aware of that, it's not the white, the globe isn't going to fall down. It does wobble a bit more now ever since I painted it, and the way alignment should, it's basically the same from what I can tell. So I don't know why it's wobbling a bit more now. Before it was the other fan that wobbled, and this one didn't wobble at all. Now it's the other way around, this one wobbles more than the one in my bedroom. But it's nothing really I can do, I'm just going to leave it away like that, I don't want to make, this is the best I can get it to back how it used to be, but um. I see that this one just a tiny bit lower, but it's, the way the women on this one is a lot better than the one in my bedroom, so I don't know why this one wobbles more. Yeah, let me go ahead and show it with the light while well, it's on speed one.
It does have a daylight light bulb. My mom, my grandmother needs one of these because she has, she only has one eye that's still working. So she does need a light that's better for her. I like soft light because it's more comfortable for me at nighttime. It has had daylight in there before, but I like it. I'm, I prefer soft light. I feel like it's more a comfortable type of lighting for a nighttime. My grandma doesn't even care that it shakes a lot. It just, the light bulb just bounce around, like, making against the glass a tiny bit. Like, it hits it a tiny bit, but it's, she's fine with it. She, she can sleep with anything, even like it was like a thunderstorm. Or like a car crash outside, like a major one. She, she's a very heavy sleeper. Something like this wouldn't bother her at all. It makes a lot more noise when speed 3 or to go up than it did before. The bearings on this one seem to be in better shape than the other one. That's what I know. This one's a bit, this kitty case is a little bit more quiet than the one in my bedroom. Yeah, I'd like to have a schoolhouse globe like this one on the um, Passport 2 in the kitchen in the United States. I feel like a, a globe that had like blue shape flowers would look nice on a family like that. But I'll take any schoolhouse globe that has flowers on it, to be honest. I'll just put anything on it. Something like this is what I prefer the most. But I'm not going to risk destroying this globe, sending it back up there and have it get broken. Plus I like this globe on the fin a while because it's actually the one that it's been on this fan for over nine years now. So um, yeah. This is actually the globe that's lasted the longest out of all of them here. Let me show it the light. Hold on. Speed 3. Speed four. This video is definitely going to be shorter than the other one. Also, could do control on this one actually works, so this, so I don't have to play around with it that much like the one that's in my bedroom. This one is hanging down a bit lower than one in my bedroom. Just looking at the down round, I actually didn't even know if it was that much lower. But, um, yeah. This is hanging down too low compared to... The, but it hung down pretty... The brown kitty cat hung down pretty low since when we first installed it. The guy didn't even bother cutting it down, so it was actually with the full length down that it came with. 
and that was very dangerous for you. So um, I was kept telling my mom over the years that we need to cut it down. And then finally, she she just got someone to cut it. But um, I wish they cut it a little bit shorter. But um, it's in the dining room, so it's, it's not very really bad. If it was like that in my bedroom, that would be an issue though. Down room, I'm okay with it hanging a bit down a bit lower because we do need it to move more air out front of the bedrooms. They move they move plenty of air the way they are, even if the down rod's shorter. Alright. Show it the light while it's on speed four. Make sure off the white and move it to speed five. I think this one actually might move a tiny bit more than mine. It does go a bit, seem to go a bit faster. Oh, this one is in a better shape though too out of the two of them so it's not as used as much out of the two Down on this one, the same with as the other one. The only thing is that um, the reason why we had to be installed before my bedroom does start, but then it held the um, J hook to start to loosen up, so we had to be, put a, um, like an iron pipe in it into the metal box and it's holding it up even higher up into the ceiling. That's why it's like that. Down. Spin down shouldn't be too long on this one. I know it'll be a bit shorter.
<clears throat> Alright, it's coming to a complete stop, so that'll be the end of this video. Thanks for watching and stay tuned for more videos to come.